All the way. All the way indeed. The score is wrong at the top, by the way. It's not 1-0 for 15 Sway uh, there. Except there was a penalty for Foggy for some reason, but I doubt that. You didn't miss anything. Just a little bit of a production hiccup there. Wisp getting killed. Denied. No additional experience for 15 Sway. And yeah, That's I'm a second. That's the That's second Wisp going down. Two Wisps, I mean, intentionally sacrificed to the creeps. That's a lot of resources Foggy is willing to invest to mess with his Ancient of War creep. There's still a lightning shield on this archer, not denying. And he is definitely later at the lap. Yeah, but the repair makes it uh, not that difficult of a creep. Two items picked up right away. Gloves and gauntlets is okay for 15th way. Foggy with the ring and... It's taken a while to creep this, it seems like. Okay, ring and Tome of Agility, at least he got that. 15 Sway, a little bit of the lead despite the Wisp detonates, but Foggy adds, of course, an AZ classic for him. Mass hunts and an AP yeah. push with Glaive support. And 15 Sway, he had to expect this, but is he ready for it? Yeah, this is, of course, classic Foggy. He's gonna play a bit outside the norm and try to get an edge strategically. Oh, big last hit here. Well, first they fight each other. 15 Sway got it. Not bad. Getting a little level lead. Yeah, really not the best items for him. Um, but sometimes that is the way it goes. A bit more experience. And I think Fog is really going to try to play aggressively here. If you want to play a Hunt's aggressive playstyle like this, you always want to face lower heroes. Ideally, this team armor gets a lot stronger with higher levels, with better stats, with better right clicks. So now, keeping the pressure on, getting the Huntresses out, making things difficult for the opponent should be the way to go. Foggy also at the shop, gets the boots, but no circlet. Doesn't have money for the circlet because hunt production is ramping up. Exactly, but also 15 Sway not going for that stat boosting item. Maybe he is now with a little bit of a creep that would expose his back a little bit to harassing Demon Hunter. That's exactly what Foggy is doing as we're charging up. Not forgetting about the Moonwells, not forgetting about Huntress. This is the classic setup. He played this a million times and very successfully so. Around 40 supply or 50 supply is normally we ex where we expect this push to hit. Foggy falling back wants to heal up a bit more, and this is an important whisk scout by 15 Sway. He sees the main, sees no tier 2, and sees the Hunter's Hall. And now he knows what's up. Yeah, that was pretty clear. Even I would have expected this at the beginning of the game. And now, how do you set this up? Will there be APs? Will there be a wall off? There's a lot of ways to build the base to help in that defense. Foggy also has several angles to attack. I saw a lot of Entry Protector on the right hand side. He could also come from the left hand side. How many glaives will there be and when? There's some intricacies to these pushes. I really like the Imus Archer here. Again, telling Foggy what's going on with the creeping, looking once more for a punish. But he's not getting archer kills yet. Ideally, you would love to get those. That makes holding the AP push, Huntress push, much more difficult. And Sephiroth's way got some additional creeping in, but he didn't get that level 3 yet. Very important. And he's losing a lot of moon juice here with the Demon Hunter being so low. Five archers. You always gotta be... Oh, he's diving deep for this already. Is that the right call for Foggy? One archer goes down. Demon still hurt. A bit of moon juice is left. But it's going to be daytime fairly soon. Archers and Shadow Melt. Foggy could go for a reveal at the lab. Not doing it right now. Just trying to get as much right click out as he can. And if some archers are hidden, he doesn't care. And now come the APs. Nice and early at 37. But Fifth Sway was quick enough to get the second hero. Now Naga is coming. It is nighttime. Of course, Moon well regenerating. But Moon Juice is so low. Fifteen Sway with some misplays. Getting so exposed to the hunts. And how do you get the shop and lores up now when the Demon Hunter is going ham on your main? Trying to play it with the Naga, trying to play it with some Ancient of War reinforcements. But I think Foggy has a huge chance for a 
Shredder now being added in, but the AP is almost standing. This AP damage is going to be significant. Foggy is trying to do everything to buy time for the Ancient Protector. Demon Hunter, very hurt. Healing up. Might be dead, though. 15th way. Needs to be cautious. Nice control with the Naga. That Frost Arrow is worth a million gold. That AP is growing. Or can the Shredder still cut it down? Whisper in position. Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter. But the one is slow. The other is not. Foggy has boots trying to run away. And all of a sudden, this game could turn around. But it turns around again with these archers being so exposed to the hunts. What a wild game. The tug of war continues. Long range. AP. Is that requiring a Zeppelin play? Oh, AP is getting blocked. Away from the main base. Can't get into the back. Into the safety. And the AP being oh. here makes things really difficult. Level but three. next Wisp goes down. Demon Hunter gets level 3. That's some valuable stats. Foggy is coming back with his own Demon Hunter. Maybe a staff? Yep, absolutely. Second AP, as you said. The Shredder could be cleaned up. So is the Demon Hunter. Has to TP. That is level 2. Fort Lightning available. Mass Repair on the Shredder. Pretty unique idea to hold this without your own APs. 15 Sway. No lore. Sapper by Foggy. Classic play. No lore. It's not even a Hunter's already, right? Oh, and the sapper on Good the moon wells. Yes! Boom! Goes the dynamite immediately, and that is so much healing gone as well. Foggy is chasing for the demon hunter, for the heroes, for the 1 0. Yeah, 15 swears, almost nothing left. Some decently leveled heroes, but no healing anymore. And this is the difficult part. When it's nighttime and you have Moonwell region, you can always kind of recover. But now we're in a long, dry spell. It is now the scorching heat of daytime and no moon juice regen anymore. The two APs here, so hard to deal with. And the cool thing for the Sapper for Foggy is also, he knows that his opponent can use the Sapper now against him, which is kind of cute. Exactly, APs marching forward. How do you break this without Dryads, without Bears, without Tier 3, without really anything of value? Just a handful of Archers and that Shredder is kind of your lifeline, but against Hunts it's really not that good. You can trade a little bit with the Demon Hunter, but always on the cost of Moonwells. 15 Sway is close to submission here. Both carries are supposed to be gone in a second. That's the Shredder into a thousand pieces. Burns the Demon Hunter again, so healing is more expensive. And this is just a very, very clean push by Foggy. Yeah, nicely done. Seems like on AZ, he almost always goes for these pushes. Uh, not necessarily this one precisely, but we've seen Shredder pushes before, Archer pushes before, pushes with a Naga before. This time, it's Tier 1 Mass Hunts with a Demon. 15th way, not ready for this variant. Yeah, this setup was almost questionable. He, did he really see it that late when he was scouting with the Wisp in the base? That is almost minutes too late to start the defense. There is a Hunter Saw. I was wrong on that, but still no lores, no resources whatsoever. He's down to 17 food and unable to trade. Foggy can always retreat in the safety of his uh, APs. He can go for more lab units. And yeah, these defensive APs, they don't stand a chance. Yeah, 15 Sway indeed, like you pointed out, very late with the reaction. It seemed like this one was coming a mile away. And there's different ways to approach it. Either go for a lot of archers, which I think is the safest thing to do, or go for more, more Ancients of War in the main base, but he was not set up defensively. Naga goes down, and this should be the end. 13 supply only, and it is GG. And Foggy, with a patented push, takes the lead. After the marathons we've been through between Lawlight and so on, this was a quick one and a very successful one. I think it all started to go very much downhill with that scout archer on the right hand side. The hunts onto the archers at the shop trying to creep, getting punished so hard for that. And if you lose Moonwells to replenish archers, there's not much Moonwells for the demon hunter and he's supposed to be your carry, but he wasn't able to heal him up for a long time. And that puts Foggy in a wonderful position. He has match points now, two in a row, to challenge his uh, master in Moon. Concealed Hill, map two. This 15th waste choice almost surprises me a bit because here also pushes and also possibly Potom can be pretty popular and maybe even some sneaky expansion play. I'm sure Foggy has something specific prepared. He is a diligent player. He puts in the work. He has strats for days and will pick them uh, for the right moment at uh, for the right opponent as well. Whereas 15th way might be more feeling things out and going with the flow. But 
on map one, not having the proper preparation did hurt him. Yeah, and especially with a place so telegraphed, that makes me worry about 15 Sway a little. Concealed Hill, it's a very different map compared to Amazonia from the map layout and size, etc. But it's a very similar map, I think, when it comes to foggy strats. He could just go for an AP push again. We've seen this a thousand times from him and Moon alike. And now we're good to go. Ready we are. And we're jumping in. 100 ping or so. That's good to know, I guess. Foggy has the lead. Spawning up in the top right. 15th way down 0-1 now. Pressure on him. <sighs> okay. Is it a bottom here? Or will we go with the Demon Hunter again? Several choices for Foggy, who can be very, very happy with the performance on map one. No real big flaws, no macro mistakes, just a simple straight up game. Foggy punching for the second round of Ascension, starting from the upper right. 15 Sway fighting for survival on the bottom left. It is the double Demon Hunter again. We still have yet to see a part of Maybe this isn't just her time. Maybe this just isn't her patch. But Foggy still has lots of danger up his sleeve. Even without a part of this could be a push, as we just saw so clearly one moment ago. It seems like the one thing maybe you can be sure about is that Foggy is not going to play a straight up Bear Mirror. Oh no, he never will. Rather, if we go late game, he'll rather go for Talons and mass uh, single target damage than the big bear fights. It's just really not his style. And that's always good for the viewers because Foggy's and Moon style is a million times more entertaining. So we all win. I wonder if we're gonna be seeing some emulation here it would help creeping, but would be a downside in the later stages, of course. Both so far holding on to the skill point. The Demon Hunter will again be the anchor and Foggy. Oh, what's this? Second Ancient of War. Hunter's Hall looking quite similar. This is also something that Foggy loves to do. Playing a build that looks very similar to the first game or the previous game, but then adjusting a bit and playing it a bit differently. Yeah, you have uh, several options here. As we said, you could go for Glaives. I'm almost a little bit surprised that the Ancient of War is not proxy. More on the left-hand side, maybe, because maybe it's for the Batzer, because there are the scouts already. This could also be an expansion. It would be weird, but Foggy likes to play weird at times. And this way, this time, we'll certainly need more archers. I think map one, I had like four archers. Five, I think. Maybe five, but even five is not enough. When you're getting pushed, you need at least six, rather seven, maybe even eight archers to hold on better against these waves of attack. And so far, the build is very much the same. We meet each other at the merchant, just as we did on map one. Carbon copy for now. And yeah, it's, it's down to 15 sway to make adjustments. I think the tech is fine so far. Archer production did not stop yet, which is also good. Gets the circle tier, which was missing before. So all a little bit better for the Chinese. Setting up the next moon well. But where are the archers? Only four archers, not making more. Maybe wants to get the boots. Foggy, got them already, sold the TP, healing at the fountain and buying time. And now more and more Huntresses are coming. Out in the open, 15th way soon, won't be able to take a fight anymore. But back at home it might be a bit different. There we go, more archers. That's what he needs. All right. We have boots only on foggy side, can poke a little bit. Usually at this stage of the game, it's always very important to drain the moon juice of your opponent. That is not really happening, so we're working on levels, which are also pretty similar. And now foggy sees that this defense is a lot better than the one before. So what is plan A2?
Yeah, Foggy could upgrade one of his Ancients of War and creep the lab. Get the level 3 there, pick up the consumable there. If it's a Scroll of the Beast, that would be sick. But it also cost a lot of time. Maybe he doesn't want to give that much time to the opponent who could then also creep or perhaps even creep Jack. Foggy's not teching. We got the upgrades coming. It's indeed looking a lot like that push again. And he's creeping quite a bit. Level 3 Demon Hunter almost guaranteed. 15 Sway though, of course, he's working on his tech. Gets the Naga second again. No Tinker, no Beastmaster, no Panda. Pretty standard. Foggy needs a bit more for level 3. He didn't finish the turtles up in the north at the green mm. camp, so that's why he's not there just yet. But he's making very good use of these fountains. That's why hunters are so good in this map. They give you map control, your opponent is forced to stay home, and you can use the fountains to heal for free. But soon it's going to be go time. Soon Foggy has yeah. to make the move. Man, this is so much better for 15 Sway. Gets the lores up, saves the moon juice. I wonder if Foggy can still brute force through this. He finds the Demon Hunter creeping solo at the shop. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Foggy, right, Foggy now has the level 3. Gonna heal up back at home. And then we're gonna see the move. That's level 3. First attack upgrade, defense upgrade as well. But yeah, obvious all in by Foggy, the style he played a million times in this matchup. We have Wispier. Ooh, it's a bit dangerous. Reveal! And this is a lot of damage because the heroes for Foggy aren't in position. Oh, but the Hunters are here, ready to strike against the Archers in the back line and out in the open again. 15 Sway can't really fight. Naga getting blocked. Oh, losing her. Would oh, hurt. Oh, 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 sick block by Foggy. Can he do it again? Can he get in position? Oh. Wonderful! Oh, what an execution! With the last right, right click before she got to the moon wells. But Dryads are coming. And Dryads are a really good counter against Huntresses. Foggy will need Glaives. Sooner rather than later. He has them in production. Here they come. No AP set up yet. The Wisps should be in position, right? Yep, they absolutely are. Foggy has a way of... Um, building them far away from the opponent's base, so making sure they come up, but then they arrive just a lot later. Always a trade, cost of opportunity, but he has to wait for the Glaives anyway. Oh, he's switching gears completely! It's an Expo now! Okay, of course, has full map control for quite some time, but the closer that 15 Sway gets to 50 Supply with all of Dryads, that might change. Oh, and a beautiful scout. Sees it right away with the Wisp, 15 Sway knows instantly. Oh, big healing potion. That's also amazing for Foggy. Yeah. What a find. Okay. Ooh, game on a knife edge. This game probably won't last too long. The wisps are getting caught. Bye bye AP push, but I think that was out of the out of the way anyway. Winds coming. Interesting combo. To go for Dryads and Talons. It could just be a hippo because he sees the Zeppelin play coming. Yeah, I think so. And that is why it's anticipation. Foggy, sneaky sneaky with a Zeppelin, one of his favorite units, could just uh, unload this uh, Glaive Throw over and over, threaten the buildings and be really annoying with this. Yeah, Foggy is amazing in Zeppelin Micro if he gets the time. And if he kills the Ancient of Wind, man, that's a double whammy. Here we go. 15 Sway has to respond and that is indeed buying so much time. I wonder how much damage Foggy is going to take from the creep camp. He can't go to the fountains right now. This is a poison camp. Ah, but that's what he has the heal scroll for. Oh my god, the items, by the way. <laughs> Ring of region and big healing and also Ring of protection, by the way. Super great items for Foggy's demon. Absolutely fantastic. Man, he even had a wisp in the zap to yeah, heal. For the repair, for the repair dude. That's so smart. Wait, Foggy's going to the red camp without anti air? I guess he can just creep the rest and then heal despite the Drake. I guess that works. Red spot for 15 Sway. Item is the Unholy Aura. That is fantastic movement speed and passive HP regeneration. That's what you want. Foggy switching into Archers now. Still tier one, nine minutes in. He's almost level five. He will most certainly get level five. And with that and being solo hero, might be able to get level 6 this game. That is amazing. Just jump to the red spot. Yeah, why not? 
Uh, the, the red spot. The green spot. And that is level 5 indeed, you're right. Holy moly, that's fast. It would be even better if he had tier 2 for bonus experience. But he can't afford that. It's all about massing right now and saving the expansion. Scrolls will be crucial. Moon, of course, having a close eye on the game right here. He will be prepared for either of the players, that's for sure. Archers mispositioned, immediately caught by Dryads and Naga Sea Witch. But it's only one, that's fine. And 15 sway fields he has to push. It's no bears, it's just here too. All the glaives, losing them would hurt. They are the counter to the Dryads. And in we are. Wands of Illusion used on both sides. Great detonate! Gets rid of that one. 15 Sway losing HP on the Dryad on the left hand side. Demon Hunter also on the fire. This Demon Hunter of Foggy just stands there untouchable. 15 Sway down to 45 and more and more Dryads are falling. This is an amazing setup by Foggy. Lost three units. That's about it. This push is dead. Beautiful play by Foggy. It may <gasps> only be a tier one, but he's making use of all the tier one units. Did. Archers and Hunts and Glaives. <laughs> What a cool strat. He got halfway to level 6 already. Loses the glaive now. Okay, that's fine. He still got so much more and the expo is obviously alive. The Naga. Who says Night Elf can't surround? <laughs> Clutch. I like that you had to wait for day 10 of the tournament <laughs> to be able to say that. <laughs> it's day 8, okay? I guess. I don't know. Counting is hard. But that was a sweet surround. Can't argue with that. All right, that push didn't work. 15 Sway now trying to go to Bears, but boy, is that going to take a long time. Yeah. Foggy in a sensational position. Oftentimes, in other matchups with other races, with his uh, playstyle, uh, you know, with only tier one and a second base, that hasn't doesn't have to win you the game because the army will be falling off. Obviously, only tier one units, but you have the ace in the hole, and that's the Demon Hunter. Yep. He's at a 5.5 already, and if this game keeps going for another certain amount of minutes, he will get level 6 guaranteed. We get Sapras once again, and we get more support. Thank you, Emac347, for the 23-month resub, and thank you, Farak, for the 10-month resub. 10-month hype! Hype, indeed, in this tournament. Oh, is that an invite for the Sapper? Boom, goes the dynamite again. Need some follow-up, though. But the Demon Hunter is just right there. Ancient of War also gone. That doesn't really do too much. Riju is coming. That's a big help. But still, 15 Sway. I don't think he stands a chance, really. Just so much stuff. Foggy's pushing in with what is close to a 50 supply lead. Rejuvenation, the one thing that is keeping 15 Sway in the game right now. That's good healing. But I feel like his damage isn't all that high, really. Waiting for the bears, waiting for tier 3, waiting for master, but it's taking a little while still. Demon Hunter about to be dead, saved by the last heal self. He doesn't even have a staff, he could never really afford it. Hunter's trying to clean up this backline. Archers and Dryads are a good threat, but Foggy is overwhelming upper left, upper right, bottom left, and now even goes for APs on the top of his expansions. This is amazing. Front to back, a dominant performance, and not even the moon juice is too nice to 15 sway. There's so much yellow and so little blue. Yeah, absolutely wonderful play by Foggy, showing that you can also win Knight of Mira without touching the bears once. We see the bears here, but they are too late. Foggy's supply lead here is immense. And the glaives in the back putting so much pressure on the buildings. 15th way doesn't have much time to waste here in the defense. Oh, Foggy, it's been some time since you had a very successful tournament run. But the big ones, the GCS is the WGLs, he always felt at home and this being the spiritual su successor of these tournaments. It's once again time for a good Foggy performance. Pretty safe to say that he wins this now that the demon goes down, that's level 6. Metamorph not activated, GG. Foggy, so good, so clean, so prepared. And now up against Moon for the round of 8.